Hello everyone, welcome back to our scenes. So, in today's video, we will be discussing SLC Science Passing Package for this running year, that is 2021-22, on viewers demand. And before moving forth, let me tell you that this particular passing package is prepared by analyzing the model question paper given by Karnataka State Board for this particular year. So let's get started. Yes, so very first in the list is definitely going to be diagrams, the very important part of science. And for this year, diagrams are going to be for 16 marks. So it is going to be divided into 5 plus 5 plus 6. So, you know, this year's paper is going to be divided into physics, chemistry and biology. Hence, the marks for the diagram will also be divided equally among them. So considering biology has got more of the 4 mark diagrams. So there are there is a lot of chance that the 6 marks will be going to the biology part. So a total of 16 marks for the diagrams. Next, laws. So, the list of laws is already given and you can also find it in my channel. I'll leave a link for all the laws collectively from the entire syllabus. Okay, whatever laws we have. So, it is entirely framed in one video. I'll be giving the link to that in the description box so you can check it out. So, laws altogether, two marks will be allotted. Next comes trend based questions so this is for the periodic table trend and it is from the chapter periodic classification so every year this has been like a tradition so they give a three mark question related to this okay and how to solve this how to identify this trends in easy way i have already given before and once again i'll give the link for this particular video in the description box then comes checkerboard or Punnett square for dihybrid as well as monohybrid cross and they allot around 3 marks for this particular concept. So here too you can find the link in the description box how to solve for any possible given you know pairs for dihybrid cross for monohybrid cross how to solve it. So I have already explained it in detail so you can find the link in the description box. Next this is specifically for the chemistry part. Electron dot structure, molecular and structural formula. So molecular and structural formula is from carbon and its compound. Okay, for you know alkenes, alkenes, alkynes. Then also for the functional group families such as alcohol, carboxylic acid, etc., etc. And the electron dot structure goes for the same ones as well as for the ionic compounds which you can find in metals and non-metals. Uh, like sodium chloride and magnesium chloride is already given in the textbook. Other than that, for other possible examples, uh, stay tuned to my channel and I'll definitely upload extra stuff related to this. So, altogether around 5 marks. For electron dot structure of carbon and its compound, you can once again find a link in the description box. Next, this is also from the chemistry part. Salts and their uses from the second chapter, acid bases and salt. We have got a few number of salts over there like sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, bleaching powder, sodium hydroxide etc etc. So all the salts are very important because among this at least two marks will be allotted. So they can ask you any use, the molecular formula, the preparation etc etc. So and uh, to be frank this is a very easy concept even to remember Okay, so this is a, like a granted two marks. Next, okay, so this looks like a general question, but once again, it helps you to gain the marks. Definitions, the what and the defined kind of questions. So what is overloading? What is electric fuse? What is synapse? Okay, so such kind of questions or they could just simply ask you as define. So this kind of questions all together five marks. Okay, so around 5 marks are going to be allotted for this knowledge based questions. I'll be giving you a list of definitions about what to study, what are the possibilities etc etc in my coming videos. So once again, stay tuned to my channel to get notified once the videos are uploaded. Next, balancing chemical equations. This is mainly from the first chapter. Uh, chemical reactions and equations from this chapter under the balancing part and identifying the chemical equations the types of chemical equations so all together for 
you know identifying as well as balancing around three marks are going to be allotted here so definitely again an important concept next problems the numerical problems we have got problems only under two chapters that is light and electricity and all together seven marks are going to be allotted it could be three marks here and four marks here or four marks here and three marks here okay so since it's an odd number they cannot divide it equally so it's going to be either four for this one or four for this one but at the end of the day for solving light problems we have got only a selected few formulas okay four so which is very easy and it could easily be mastered and for electricity once again it could be a little tricky though but once again i'll be solving them so yeah so next is differences differentiate questions so a total of six marks so i would like to tell you this this uh, since your paper is going to be divided into physics chemistry and biology so a two mark question of regarding differences will be asked in your physics one in chemistry and one in biology so all the three parts are going to have one one questions related to differences list of differences will be provided to you okay even for the trickier ones so i believe you will find them helpful yes next comes the yeah all together part like functions role tropism this is specifically for the biology one and the uses uses of concave convex uses of commutator okay so all together under this portion whatever you are going to get it's going to be at least a five marks it is going to be more than five marks to be frank but i would like to keep it down okay so i would tell you that at least five marks will be definitely allotted for these type of questions so regarding certain functions and tropisms like functions for different hormones functions of different parts of the brain function of different uh, enzymes and different parts of your elementary canal so all those things are already uploaded once again i'll be giving you the links in the description box which will help you to master it yes this is something new experiment okay so regarding experiment they definitely going to ask you one according if you go through your model question paper you're going to see that they have given a choice for the experiment either go for the experiment or they have given you a very much occurred you know uh, recurring question they have given a choice in between them so i'm not sure whether it's going to be the same for your board exam too but i know that experiment is something which is going to be included in your question paper so under physics we have got the most prominent two ones that is the working of the generator as well as working of the motor other than that there are possibility in chemistry too for reaction of zinc granules action of steam on metals okay there are a few possibilities in most of the cases so i'll be giving you the list of the experiments the possible ones which could arise in your question paper and then the next one once again a general concept give reasons the why kind of questions are definitely going to arise it is going to be definitely more than for two marks but i will keep it simple and give you a two marks head up for give reasons so all together if you are perfect with all this i can guarantee you a total of 66 mark so let's square it off and make it 60 okay so at least 60 marks you can get definitely if you are perfect with all of this all of this concept okay so i hope the very best to you for your board exams as well as for your preparatory exams regarding the different ones and the other complicated ones i'll be uploading videos very frequently for those ones so keep an eye for them and if you like the video do give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Thank you